Hello. It's June the 17th, 2022, and it's the hottest day of the year so far. And we're at Round Shutter Farm Airfield, uh, which is a small place created in 1988 by an ex Fleet Air Arm pilot called Eric Newbegin. He wanted it to fly his Tiger Moth from. And uh, we're in, we're in a, uh, not in a Tiger Moth, of course, in a Menestrel, a French designed, a French designed aircraft. It's designed for home build. So uh, let me just, uh, let's just step outside and have a look. Uh, fortunately, the, the uh, grass on this airstrip is a bit long, but you can get the general idea. Um, and uh, we'll um, quickly get back in the aircraft. Try make a complete mess of this. And get in the air. Uh, let's have the canopy down. Uh, this is a, a very basic aircraft with no flaps. And I don't fly it very well. We'll have a go. So, here we go. Oh, all over the place. Okay, uh, we might just get up over the trees if we're lucky. more trouble trying to land it. Uh, anyway, we're going to fly north and have a look at Bath, because Brown Shoot, Shoot Shutter Airfield is um, to the south, slightly southeast of Bath. Let me show you where it was, where it is. If you know the UK at all, you'll know that Bath is in the southwest, just before you get to Bristol. Uh, bath itself is famous because it, it, it's the home of some Roman, Roman baths. And that, of course, I imagine anyway, is how it got its name. It sits in a valley, the River Avon. It's surrounded by hills. You might get the idea where it is from the scenery in front of us. It is aerobatic though, so we might try some stunts on the way back. I have the patience to get enough height. Okay, we're nearly there. So you won't have to um, hear me making up things to say for the sake of it for too much longer. Uh, I think I can identify the area where the baths are. Quite close to the um, rugby field, the rugby, the rugby club home pitch bath the union. We could of course follow the river down to our right, which uh, runs through that valley, through that gap there, and into Bath. This the River Avon. I'm going to go straight over the hill. There is a, a horse, uh, a race course up on the top of this hill somewhere, but I'm not familiar with where it is, so shan't go looking for it on this occasion. So there's Bath spreading out in front of us. Fly low, slow. Uh, of course, you're not allowed to fly over Bath at the height we're going to fly over it, but the simulator we can get away with it. Just 
just see to our left is the, uh, the rugby ground, the square patch, the stands around it. Very close to it, behind it, are the Roman baths. Before the church, you can see. Roadway around Bath, and there's the rugby pitch, Bath Rugby Club. Somewhere in this area, the building doesn't stand out in the sim, unfortunately, so I can't really point it out. Very close to the church are the Roman Baths and the museum. If you've ever been and have visited this area, you might be more familiar with it than I. Better get some height. Head back towards the airfield. This aircraft is available as a free download. I'll, I'll show you where we get back on the ground. with this video. Also the airfield scenery around the shuttle, although it's a paid download. It's part of one of your Birch's collections of 30 other scenery from about 30 other airfields. Interesting thing will be if I can find the airfield There's a barrel roll. This will dive to pick up some speed. And then we'll pull up through the horizon and a long extended.
there's anybody else in your house that wonder why you're shouting at the video. house in one corner of the airfield. Just see it from here. Uh, I fancy that was uh, that was Eric Newbegin's house. speed indicator, <laughs> not speedometer, the airspeed indicator is of course in kilometers and uh, the um, Mistral stalls at about 95 so you have to be quite careful and then I don't know if it's me or if it's the, uh, the model of the aircraft just doesn't seem to slow down on the runway at all in fact, it doesn't give much much indication that you're actually on the ground, so it's a good bit of guessing. I'm sure um, its designer will work in on these things. It's certainly got some nice instrumentation because you can uh, got a nice little iPhone. Yeah? That's cool. Check this and what have you. Okay, we're still doing 110 knots. Probably got enough momentum to get as far as the uh, end of the runway without stalling. Just about lined up very well. Yeah. That's it. Pumps. Pumps. But normally, if you, I've got the brakes on full now, but normally that would make a tail wheel aircraft go nose in. It doesn't happen on this one, so another slight um, a bit different to the way it actually handles in real life. It's probably the best landing I've made here. Just going to taxi up and have a look at some of the scenery. Very nicely done. Neil Birch, so it's a Neil Birch for the unfortunately you have to pay for it. But it's uh, not very expensive, so uh, there we are. Let's just uh, just turn the engine off. Try to turn the magneto off and turn it back on again. Oh, that's a bit quieter. So we'll just step out of the aircraft. 
and you'll see there's a Diagon Moth there. I think that uh, um, Eric Newbegin's Tiger Moth was painted in uh, military colours, certainly green. Um, and you can see there's a caravan there, another micro light, and uh, uh, a look over the airfield. Well, let me just show you quickly if I've still got it up. Okay, there's a there's a picture of an a menestrel. Um, slightly different one to the one we've been flying. Uh, this is this is the, where we are. This is the airfield here, uh, the home of Great Western Air Sports, and they fly microlights from this airfield uh, today. If we zoom out, you can see that we are uh, just south of the Roman Baths at Bath, uh, and uh, you can download the fo the uh, the Menestrel uh, from flightsim.to. So, thanks for watching.